In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show the option one, which is thinking. Then comes the option two, the research and then option three, planning. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the rectangles choose the rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle in the center depending on the requirement and shape outline i'm going to choose a outline of red color and shape fill i'm going to choose the white color if you want to increase the width of the outline, you can go to the shape outline, weight and select the three points here. And then I'm going to duplicate this slide by pressing Ctrl D. And I'm going to make the same width, but height I'm going to just reduce it. So it looks something like this. Again, if you want, you can reduce a little bit from left and right as well. So once this is done, I'm going to make the shape outline, make it no outline. So the, sh uh, the particular shape is not visible for that. I'm going to give a shadow effect. So go to the effects shadow and select the offset top. Once this is done, I'm going to insert shapes, select the from the basic shapes. I'm going to select the hexagon, draw the hexagon by holding the shift key. And then I'm rotating this one, the pointed one to come at the top. You can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to choose the same color which we are used for the red and then i'm going to select this one the white rectangle and bring to front so it looks something like this you can see here again depending on the requirement you can make it up or down so let it be like this and if you want to give one cut here for that i'm going to use one uh, rectangle here sorry the triangle here draw a small triangle and rotate it you can see here just rotate it bring it down somewhat and then i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one go to the merge shape and subtract so we end up getting a shape which looks something like this so once this is done the next thing which we need to do is to add the text and the icons so first of all let me just add the text so go to insert text box I'm going to type 01, any font of your choice you can choose. Maybe I'm going to choose Arial Black, Center Align. I'm going to make this as a white font, increase the size and put it like this and make sure that both are these are grouped. Press Ctrl G to group it and then again send this back. All right, then you can insert some more detailed text here for example you can add the title again you can make it bold if you want you can see here and then i'm going to insert some detailed text here i don't want this much large text so i'm going to cut it reduce the font size and then I'm going to insert some icons any icon of your choice you can insert here but for this uh, tutorial I'm going to choose some random icons so we'll wait for the icons to load yeah so now let me just choose this icon maybe and click insert and move this here you can reduce the height and width to 0.5 maybe okay the smaller one we need we don't need bigger one again if you want you can change the color to the same color what we have used and for the title also you can use the same color you can see here so once this is done i'm going to select all of this and hold the Control shift key add it one to the left and add it one towards the right you can see here so this is my one this is the option number sorry two and this is the option number three 
and then you can just change the different color for example here i would like to go for a maybe a blue and here also i'm going to select the same color which is blue here you can see even this also i'm going to choose the blue and for this i'm going to choose the same blue color and here again depending on the requirement which color you like so i'm going to use this particular dark green color and for this also the same color and for the outline i'm going to give the dark colors and this text also i'm going to give the green color so you can see here we have uh, easily we have uh, done that one again if you want to do some basic uh, animation so to do the basic animation what we need to do is we have to go to the animations enable the animation pane and here i'm going to select this text okay this text and the icon and press ctrl g to group it okay so here also i'm going to just do that one and here also you can just do that so first of all this particular uh, shape i would like to do the animations i'm i'm going to the add animations you can go to the more entrance effects you can see here we have got something called peak in so i'm going to choose the peak in click ok and for this text i'm going to add animation again maybe i'm going to choose the same peak in so peak in but this time i'm going to choose the effect from top so it comes like this and this should happen with previous so if i play so you can see it comes like that so now i can just use the same animation painter and copy it so again select the animation painter and copy it so you can see here it's done very very quickly all the animations got copied so it looks something like this